This is an introduction to ratio video. I'm going to use squash to demonstrate what the ratio is about. So I've got three plastic cups and I'm going to fill them with squash and water. So a mixture that has different ratios. For the first one, we're going to put one spoonful of squash and three spoonfuls of water so the same unit we're going to use to measure the squash as well as the water otherwise the ratio is not going to work if you're using let's say cups you're going to have to use cups the same cup to measure the water as well as the squash or if you're using spoonfuls use the same spoonful to measure both or let's say you're using another container but you need to use the same container that's the idea now we're going to put two and so two spoonfuls of squash and two spoonfuls of water and here we're going to put three spoonfuls of squash and one spoonful of water so we can see the difference Now we're going to put in the water. One, two, three. Here I'm going to put two of them. And here I'm going to put just one. So we've got, for this one, a ratio of squash to water being 1 to 3. Here the ratio of squash to water is 2 to 2. And here it is 3 to 1. What do you notice? This is lighter, this is darker, and this is even darker. It's the same amount of mixture. Four spoonfuls in all three of them but we've used different ratios this has less squash this has more and this has even more first of all the order of the words matters so we're saying the ratio of squash to water so squash comes first and there we have number one representing squash and then water comes after that and then we have three meaning water same here so squash water squash water so if i doubled the amount of squash and the amount of water that i put into these cups so if i had two spoonfuls of squash and six of water four here and four and six and two here the ratio will still be the same the ratio would be one to three for this cup two to two for this cup and three to one for this cup another thing that the ratio tells us is how the amounts relate to each other so we've got one spoonful of squash and three of water so three times this here we've got them both equal 
so you've got even if you double or triple or quadruple you've got to pay attention and make sure they're both equal so you keep the ratio as it is here we've got three times the amount of water in squash we use ratio in other contexts as well so just cooking so for one cake you might need three eggs for two cakes you're gonna need six eggs and so on so that links really closely to proportion which you can have a look at in another video